Yeah, please, let's go. All right, so the EA Fistula Care Ghana is a non-profit seeking organization. We have a vision of being a leading fistula foundation in terms of breaking the cycle of obstetric fistula. By that, we believe that it's not just about looking for cure for them. We believe that we should also be able to reintegrate them after they have been cured. So we want to demystify um, what fistula is. We want to tell the whole world that fistula is not a, a, a spiritual disease, but fistula is a medical condition that could only be treated with surgery. We also want to play advocacy roles in development of policies and also in support, uh, helping others, drawing other people's attention to the plight of fistula women and bringing them on board to support women with fistula. That's basically what we need to do. We also believe that we should carry out more researches and dissemination so that people will understand what fistula is and then also be interested in carrying researches in fistula. So we need more advice on if we the men, if our woman is a victim or something, how do we do we use to support the woman on it so that she will not feel like discrimination or something? Alright, so I want to say that when the woman gets fistula, already she's so disturbed, she's so disorganized, she's prone to mental problems. So that is not a time to shun the woman or her. You give her love, you show her attention, it's not the end of life, it is curable. If you contact us, we can link you to where you can get help. Even if you don't have money, we can still organize and get money to support you so that your woman will be fine. So support her, don't divorce her, it is curable. So what's the way forward for you I, as an organization? So the way forward is to go into the interior because these men are hiding, they scarcely come out. So we want to go deeper into the interior to really look for them and help them regain their dignity and also support their children. Right. Your name and your position? I'm Dr. Ernest in the seat. I'm a lecturer at the School of Nursing and Medicine. Yeah, uh, like the speaker the said, uh, we uh, won't usually to attribute such situations to maybe witchcraft, case, whatever you But uh, today, quite clearly, we have been made to understand that there is a scientific basis for the condition and that it is treatable, it is not doomsday as perhaps maybe some of us may be minded to look at it and that with the proper attention, with the holistic uh, attention to the whole thing, there is prospect for treatment and redemption for people who have the misfortune of you know suffering this ailment. So uh, today like the samples the fistula is treatable. It is possible to give people hope and uh, that is what the uh, Fistula, fistula, EA Fistula Ghana, you know, tells us, and I believe that um, it is a, a source of tremendous you know, hope for people who may be you know, involved in the treatment. It gives hope to everybody, and I congratulate the woman for this initiative to give hope for redemption for patients. As a chairman oh, on this very event, so personally, how are you going to go the long way also to pop, and propagate the gospel of this fistula? Uh, for me, it's like Saul, Saul's experience on the road to Damascus. My eyes have been opened, and I know, I know that there's something much more we can and should do, you know, to help, you know women who have this uh, problem because um, we have a testimony from the people who have recovered from it and that you know with the proper attention with the proper assistance with the proper motivation it is possible you know to come back to normal life uh, please your name and your position your name and my name and uh, 
My name, as you have, you know. All right, so my name is Dr. Kwame Nimbuama. I'm an obstetrician gynecologist. And I currently work at the University of Ghana Medical Center. I'm really greatly delighted to be at the launch of the EA Fistula Care Ghana. Indeed, the research done by Dr. Ernestina Suedua has provided real concrete data. And the good thing is that it explores the socioeconomic, cultural, and religious beliefs of, of these women and of the society in general that really led to the condition and affects the condition and even after the surgical intervention for cure is done by the women, how these women get integrated into the society um, and to get their lives back as it were. So I'm particularly excited about the work and about what the foundation seeks to do in one, creating awareness about the condition of obstetric fistula, which means that a woman, you know, had problems during labor, couldn't get access to deliver in a hospital, if I should say, and to have uh, most likely a surgical intervention that leads this woman later to be leaking urine and sometimes feces or both. And so this work is going to create awareness in our community so that people are going to access care in hospitals for delivery. That's what we, uh, we talk about, supervised delivery, so that you know, people won't say they are delivering at home. Or even if I should dare say traditional birth attendants, they would rather go to hospital because um, that is where you know we can really care for them and offer them what they need. We are also going to the NGO is going to also train health workers in general so that we'll be able to, as it were, create very nice and good environments within health facilities that would encourage all women to want to come to health facilities to deliver because they will find our facilities to be friendly and therefore they would come and deliver there and most importantly also to also provide care for women who have unfortunately suffered the condition be able to provide funding for their surgeries and the needed support medical and social support and then after they have had the surgery to be able to reintegrate them back into their society because sometimes because these women are you know smelling of urine and things they get ostracized by their own families by the community so it is very welcoming news for us to hear the Ernestina Sidwa Fistula Care project being launched in Ghana to also lend support to work already ongoing to eradicate fistula from Ghana. This is a very commendable effort, particularly when it was informed by a PhD research work and an encounter with the fistula patient. This is very touching and she needs to be encouraged and supported as much as possible. So uh, taking, to, taking this to the next level, personally, what do you think is, is needed to be applied? I think one of the major bottlenecks for fistula care in Ghana it's our inability to recruit the patients, our inability to find them, and our inability to recruit the patient. And I saw as one of the bullets for their core functions or deliverables would be to improve fistula patient recruitment. So that for me is welcoming news. Remember, I'm a fistula surgeon. So if we can find them and we can fix them, then we help to kill them and reduce the numbers suffering from obstetric fistula. All right. Any submission from your hand? I think we need to also, uh, as a matter of agency, do our best to sustain awareness on fistula. Often we publicize it during the International Day to End Obstetric Fistula, and after that we all go to sleep until there is another International Day to End Obstetric Fistula in May. But with what Ernestina has done, at least we've had the opportunity to talk about fistula in October. So sustained awareness will be an important component to help into eliminate fistula in Ghana ultimately. Please, your name and your position? I'm Dr. Gabriel Ganyaglo, a fistula surgeon at the Koyuku Teaching Hospital and a member of the National Fistula Tax Force of Ghana. Thank you so much.